Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Do You Know Minecraft, the informational video series where I cover interesting facts about Minecraft that you might not know about. And in this episode we will be covering 15 secret changes in Minecraft 1.12, the World of Colours update. As far as I know all of these changes were made in the development cycle of 1.12 and of course a secret isn't a secret if you don't know about it. So don't rage if you think some of these are not secrets and of course if you're subscribed and follow my snapshot videos there will be a few of these you already knew about. But anyway sit back relax count how many of the changes you didn't know about then at the end you can vote on the poll to let me know. Our first secret change is a very well known about easter egg with the jukebox. They can make the parrots dance. You've probably all seen this. Let's throw in the record and watch it. It's cute and it's adorable. But it has actually changed in the development cycle of 1.12. Some of these used to change colour as well. They would flick between the different colours. That was removed at some point which I kind of miss. Now all they do is dance. And you can see that this white box here is the area of effect to make them dance in. So the area of effect would be a 5x5 square centred on the jukebox if it wasn't for this quirk where it goes over an extra row in that direction which is a negative x. So these are parrots with no AI and that means that they're not going to go anywhere. They still make a lot of noise and they'll still dance when we put in a record. So let's throw one in and you can see that they continue dancing slightly further in this direction than they do in the opposite. Trying to sleep in your bed with a zombie pigman nearby used to be a pain in the butt, but they're not actually hostile right now, which means you can now actually go ahead and sleep in the bed. And of course that's very convenient if you're in the nether and you need to take a quick nap. Our next secret change is... Are you ready for it? Walking backwards. Wow, look at that, it's magic. Right? Right? Uh, maybe if you don't remember how it used to look, <laughs> this probably doesn't look too spectacular. So I'm now in Minecraft 1.11. Are you ready to see it? Yep, that's what you walking backwards used to look like. It's kind of like walking sideways. I know, very derpy. In this update, there was one new splash message, which you see on the main screen. It's this text right here. There are thousands of these things, so the best way for me to show you the new message is by using a screenshot someone else has uploaded. And it says, don't feed chocolate to the parrots. Bad things happen if you feed chocolate to the parrots. I've got to be careful with this chocolate chip cookie, or if you're playing in English, it's now a biscuit. Yeah, that's what happens when you give parrots chocolate, people. I said one, but there are actually four new messages added in total. The other three are the true meaning of Kofefi, an illusion, what are you hiding, and something's not quite right. Trivia time, what does a compass cost? Four pieces of iron and a redstone dust, you say? No, I say it costs four pieces of wood. Do you know why? Because we've got this new system here. If I open up a crafting bench... There is a compass over here, and this is actually working like a normal compass. So watch where it goes on my hotbar, and it changes up here as well. So it's kind of like a free compass, wouldn't you say? And that isn't actually a secret change. That's an unintentional change right there. Free compasses for all. Our next secret change involves the magma block and fire. And if you did or didn't know, you set netherrack on fire and it will stay alight permanently unless something comes along and puts it out. Well, the same is now true of the magma blocks. As we light these other ones, you can see that eventually they randomly go out. And I've actually sped the speed of the game up a little bit here to make that demonstration. This next one you might not consider a secret feature, but it's part of the recipes expansion to the game. And I really liked it and I wanted to share it with you. So, if you walk into water, the game will give you all of the recipes for boats. Check that out. So, if we open up the crafting bench, go into here, you can see we've got the recipe for the boats. Parrots are not only cute and adorable, they've got lots of interesting behaviours about them. For example, they will mimic the sounds of mobs that are nearby. And that is one of my favourites. And as you can see, they are drawn to the witch. The witch is not the only mob that they're drawn to. They'll also pay attention to endermites, although it seems they're more interested in the witch at the moment. So look at who they're interested in now. <laughs> they're following the endermite around. Again, that's not the only mob they'll be interested in. They're also very fond of silverfish. 
Look at them crowd around and follow this fella. There they go. <laughs> While I learned something making this video, I thought they were only attracted to a particular set of mobs, but it seems like they're interested in anything that moves. You put down a mob near these parrots and they will just flock to it. This next bug fix is an aesthetic change that you'd probably never notice unless I pointed it out, but it's bugged me and probably many other players for the longest of times. You see this panel right here displaying the name? Well, now it appears above the effect statuses on the left-hand side. And here we are in Minecraft 1.11. I'm telling you, this is super annoying. Look, it goes under the effect status there. I'm so very glad that they made that change. The next secret change involves an item that you won't find in the creative search menu. You will actually be able to find it in a crafting bench but not as an item. That book right there is actually an item in this game and let's just do a little search to show you that there's nothing under rep. So this is the item, it is the knowledge book and you can consume it by right clicking on it. However this knowledge book doesn't have any tags or any information with it whereas this one does so we give it to us we right click on it and we learn some new recipes and if we go in here and type in rep you can see we've now got the repeater as well as the comparator as well as the two tags that I added here were for the repeater and the comparator. Here's another subtle change that makes a world of difference when you're crafting and then for some reason you decide to exit the crafting table all your items get thrown down onto the ground. And in 1.12, with all of the changes to crafting and recipes, this process is made a lot quicker now. All we've got to do is click on that or shift click it to get a full stack. But when we exit this screen, you can see all of the items pop back into my inventory. This next one well and truly is a secret change Easter egg. If you go into here and you search for excited and then ZE on the end, you can see as I press the E key, the game has now actually lagged a little bit. And I believe, aha, there it goes. Crafting, loot bag. Let's remove this over here. It's changed the game to pirate speak. <laughs> Chunk of redstone. Raised deck. Redstone repeater. <laughs> Painting. Uh, yep, the game has been changed into pirate speak. Peg Lego Steel. I love that one. If you're subscribed and you've been watching the update videos on 1.12, then you'll know all about the new note block sounds. Very nice indeed. There were a whole bunch of other sounds added as well, and I cover most of those in those videos. But two that I wasn't aware of, there's one for being on fire, or a new sound for it. And there it is right there. Let's jump into this water to put ourselves out. And there's also a new sound for drowning as well. So we're just going to wait here for a second. And there it is. I'll tell you what, in recent updates, that isn't the first time they've changed the drowning sound. But there you go, it's been changed once again. So normally you'd need to slay the end dragon, hop into the end portal to see the end game credits. But if you're itching for your favourite part of the game, or should I say no one's favourite part of the game, you can click down the bottom here and it takes you to the end credits. That's right, the end credits of Minecraft, which scroll very slowly. And if you hear music during the end credits, it's actually been there the entire duration of the game. It is the song Alpha from C418's Volume Better soundtrack, and occasionally it's been known to play, but a big bug has stopped it from playing. Now when you go to the credits, if your music is turned on, you can listen to this song, it'll play every single time. Now I know that this is absolutely awful to look at right now, but bear with me, there is a secret advancement. So if we go into the Never tab, you can see here that the last one on this tail is a Furious Cocktail. There's actually another one hidden behind that called How Did We Get Here? And it's possible to do it in Survival Minecraft and you'll require a lot of effects all at once, of which I've hinted at over here. And you can see that we have tons of effects applied to us, all obtainable in Survival Minecraft. The last one I need is Levitation. And there we go, challenge complete. How did we get here? It also gave me a thousand experience points as well. On that note, I should mention that this is a challenge advancement. All of them that have these icons are challenge advancements, and all of them will give you an XP reward when you complete them. 
One last thing I'd like to mention is I had another secret on this list that actually got removed at some point. I know some of you know about this. You can rename a beacon, you could rename an enchanting table, and then when you place it down on the ground, it would display the name you renamed it above it, like when you name tag a mob. Unfortunately, at some point, that feature was removed, so it's not on the list. And that's all of the secret changes that I have for you. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and share it with your friends. As always, thank you for the support and click the card in the top right of the screen to let me know how many of the 20 secret changes you knew about. So thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.